Hey guys, today let's make classic pickled eggs. This is the perfect use for hard boiled eggs when you want something a little bit different. They're gluten free, they're keto friendly, they're high in protein, they're a good little snack or a mid morning snack or even for breakfast. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's get started on this old-fashioned recipe. So before we get into this recipe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me any likes, or leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. So let's make our eggs. So if we're making pickled eggs, the first thing we need are hard-boiled eggs. So get yourself a pot. This is the way I like to do hard-boiled eggs. There are a thousand tips on how to do them and how to peel them. So I'm not gonna get into that right now. Use your favorite method. But I'm gonna take six eggs. I'm gonna put them in a pot. I'm gonna cover the eggs with cold water. And what I like to do is cover them with the cold water, put it on the stove, turn the pot on high, bring it up to a boil. As soon as it hits a boil, I'm gonna turn the stove off. I'm gonna put my lid on top of my eggs and I'm going to let them set for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I'll run some, dump the hot water, put some cold water in the pan, get them peeled, and then we'll make our pickled eggs. So I'm going to do that and we'll be back in just a minute. So our eggs are all cooked, they're all peeled. Surprisingly, no issues with the peeling of the eggs today. Sometimes they fight with me and these are all smooth. There's no pieces stuck to the shell. So we had a good day with that. And now I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together. So find a jar, an old pickle jar works really well, uh, especially if you're doing about six pickled eggs. Pickle jars, the bigger ones, you can get, you know, you can get a few more in there. So do six to 12 eggs, hard boiled a good wide mouth on the top. Makes it easier to get the eggs in and out. So we're gonna put salt, white vinegar, and water, and that's it. So I usually take a couple teaspoons of salt. I don't even measure, and this is actually, this isn't even kosher. This is just that regular table salt. So we're gonna put a couple teaspoons in there. A little more or a little less isn't gonna hurt it. You're not eating all that salt, so that'll work just fine. So we'll get our salt in here. Now we wanna add one cup of white vinegar. So I pour that in the jar. And then I'm gonna give it a swirl and try to dissolve some of that salt. And then you wanna put your eggs into the jar. And these are still warm, so they're gonna soak up all that salt and vinegar. And then once your eggs are all in the jar, top off the jar with just regular cold tap water or filtered water, whichever you wanna use. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna give it a quick swirl just to mix the water and the vinegar. Now my mom always kept these on the counter. I'm sure most of you don't wanna leave eggs sitting on the counter. I'm still here, so it didn't kill me, but for safety's sake, we're gonna pop them in the fridge. So put these in the fridge, they'll chill down, give them a couple days, let that vinegar and that salt soak in, and after a couple days, they're ready to go, eat them till they're gone, these are something that are gonna last for a week or so in the fridge, but you don't wanna leave them too long because we're not doing any kind of processing. You know, they're not a quick pickle because we didn't heat everything up, but they're also not preserved. So you wanna make sure you eat them in about a week or so. So put them in the fridge for a couple days, let them sit in that salt and vinegar, and I would take one out and taste it, but we just made these. 
and the only thing it's gonna look like is a regular hard boiled egg. Some people add beet juice to this. If you have that at the house for whatever reason, you can add a little bit of that. That'll make them pink. Uh, we never grew up with the beet juice, so those aren't in mine. If you've got some eggs in the fridge that need to be used up, boil them off. Make these pickled eggs. Give yourself a break from the re regular hard boiled egg every day. I hope you give this recipe a try and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.